The Komodo dragon is a large species of lizard that is only found on a handful of islands in the Indonesian archipelago. Not known to the world until the First World War, the Komodo dragon is actually a species of monitor lizard that evolved in island isolation for millions of years. These lizards are not only the largest lizard in the world, but it also one of the most aggressive and dangerous, so powerful that it is able to take down prey many times its own size. They are in severe danger of extinction in their natural environments as climate change, habitat loss, and a shortage of prey. Population decline has led to these lizards listed on the IUCN's red list, providing this species some legal protection. The Komodo dragon is an enormous reptile that can grow up to 3 meters long and weigh 150 kilograms. They are incredibly powerful with long, thick bodies, short, muscular legs and a mighty tail. Their tail is used for both fighting and for propping the animal up when it is standing on its hind legs. It IIS an animal with long, sharp, curved claws that are often used for digging. Grayish-brown skin is covered in small scales and folds around the neck. Komodo dragons have relatively small heads compared to their large body size and wide, powerful jaws concealing a mouth filled with deadly bacteria and sharp teeth. Although they have good eyesight, they mainly rely on their forked tongue to smell their environments. By flicking its tongue out of its mouth, the lizard is able to taste scent particles in the air and locate live or dead prey up to 8 kilometers away. Although the Komodo dragon was once been widespread across many Indonesian islands, they are confined to just five today, all within Komodo National Park. The islands of Komodo, Rincha, Gilimantang, Pedar, and the western tip of Flores are the last remaining homes for these enormous animals. Habitats include open woodlands along with dry savanna and scrubby hillsides, occasionally dried up river beds. They are thought to have evolved to be so big due to the presence of a number of large mammalian species that are now extinct and lack of other large predators. Komodo dragons are solitary and powerful predators, roaming territories dependent on the individual size, covering a distance of around 2 kilometers every day. They are also known to be excellent swimmers, traveling from one island to another over a relatively long distance. Although they are solitary animals, a number of them will often gather around a single kill. In order to catch large animals, these lizards sit for hours, hidden in the vegetation, camouflaged by gray-brown skin. They then ambush the victim with incredible speed and force. They are a carnivorous predator that relies on large animals, such as pigs, goats, deer, and even horses and water buffalo, as prey. They also have the ability to attack prey much larger than them. Even if unsuccessful upon ambush, they will follow the injured prey for miles, waiting until it dies from sepsis caused by deadly bacteria in the reptile's mouth. Young will prey on smaller animals mainly in the trees such as snakes, lizards, or birds. The teeth of this animal are sharp and serrated, good for the kill and for tearing meat, but useless for chewing. Instead, they tear bits off the carcass, throw it backwards into their mouths, swallowing it whole aided by their flexible neck muscles. Due to the fact that the Komodo dragon is the most dominant predator in its environment, mature adults have no natural predators in their native habitats. Upon the first arrival of people on the islands, the Komodo dragon's lifestyle changed dramatically. Humans hunt these lizards and encroach into their native habitats to establish settlements and clear forests for timber and agriculture. Volcanic activity also threatens these animals, as the islands are geologically active. Events such as this lead to declines in prey species, in turn affecting the local Komodo dragon populations. Today, the Komodo dragon is listed by the IUCN as a species that is vulnerable in its natural environment and potentially faces extinction in the near future due to loss of habitat mainly from human activity, such as agricultural expansion. Although once widespread on numerous Indonesian islands, they are now confined to just a few with between 3,000 and 5,000 individuals thought to be left roaming the rich, volcanic forests. However, Increasing interest in these creatures from tourists gives locals more reason to protect them and their critical habitats.